Hi, Tim here with my day three keto diet update. Things are still going okay. I'm feeling good about it all. I've managed to stick to it quite easily. There wasn't really a lot of hunger yesterday. In actual fact, I'm here to report that there was less hunger, particularly at lunchtime. I ended up having a much toned down lunch, a much lighter lunch than I would normally have had, which is good. And even in the evenings, I'm finding that uh, there wasn't really a problem. In terms of uh, sticking to it, I've pretty well stuck to it religiously. What I have done is yesterday I had one cup of coffee, which is in some ways of reading the keto diet. They'll say, look, be careful with caffeine in general. This goes for the same for um, sodas and diet sodas and so forth that are loaded with caffeine because uh, apparently that can um, have problems in some people affecting the amount of weight they lose. So I had a, cu a coffee in the morning. Now, I didn't have it with milk because milk's a no-no on the keto diet. I had it with thick cream and surprisingly a good taste actually and I'm using uh, stevia for the, my um, sweetener as well instead of sugar obviously which is a no-no. So that uh, went very well and I also had a cup of tea uh, in the evening and based on all of that I'm still doing very well. I actually lost 1.1 kilograms overnight since my last weigh and that's around about 2.4 pounds um, for you American folk. So all up uh, I'm on the start of day three now so two complete days of keto. I've lost about 3.75 um, pounds, which is around, I think it's 1.7 kilograms. So off to a pretty good start. Yes, arguably you could say some of that is just water. Um, you know, the water that's retained in your body that's now coming out um, with the keto diet. But look, 1.7 kilograms, uh, as I said, uh, 3.75 pounds. I'm feeling pretty darn good about things. And feeling pretty good in myself. I'm feeling uh, more energetic, not, not, not to a tremendous degree. And from what I've read, that can take quite a while you know, like a week or a few weeks, sometimes as much as four or five weeks before you really start feeling great because the theory or the analogy there is that uh, you haven't got overweight like I have overnight, so it is going to take time to get back to that state. But the point I want to make here is contrasting this to a juice fast, and look, I'm certainly not being negative towards juice fast, I want to make that clear, but I remember at the same time with the juice fast, yes, I had lost more weight, but I remember feeling very much um, you know, quite bad. I was feeling quite bad. I was detoxing and so forth. I'm not getting those feelings so far with uh, the keto diet, which is good. So I'm you know, fingers crossed that it stays that way. Not a lot else to report. I did have a question from someone yesterday who asked about supplements. Um, yes, I do take supplements. And ignore the uh, police car in the background if you can hear it. It's actually an ambulance driving past my front window. Um, I'm taking Centrum. Now, it's probably going to be different to you guys in America. One of the reasons that you take a multivitamin is you may need some supplements with some of the foods that you're not eating. Potassium is one thing and magnesium is, are both very good things for um, that often need to be supplemented in, um, you know, in other foods or in a, in, a, in a supplement like a tablet form. So I'm taking that, which is just a general multi-purpose multivitamin, but it has, has also got some magnesium and potassium in there to help. The... Um, well, I'm taking that in the morning, I'm taking just one of those every day. That's the only thing I'm taking that's a supplement. I'm not taking anything else. I'm not using any dietary um, you know, tablets or, or doing anything else in terms of you know shakes or anything like that. It's purely just a normal keto diet eating uh, eating plan. I've got a question for you. Um, do you want me to start uh, taking photos of what I'm eating each day and putting that in the videos? So I can certainly do that. So on each day, like you know, tomorrow's video, I could... Uh, photograph what I've actually recorded for that day so you can see what's going on. That might give you some ideas on what I'm eating and you can contrast that to the amount of weight that I'm losing. Hopefully I'll continue to lose weight. That's something that I can do so do let me know. So overall I have to say that uh, everything is on track and I'm doing well and I'm feeling fantastic. Well probably fantastic is overdoing it a little bit uh, but I'm, feel I'm feeling good. I'm certainly feeling better, feeling more energetic than I did on day one so I'm hoping that that process uh, continues. And uh, I keep on feeling better, and uh, obviously the weight keeps start or continues, I should say, to uh, to go down. So that's me for the day. If you've got any other questions, please do leave uh, any questions you do have uh, on this this video or other videos, and I'll certainly endeavour to answer them. I am personally answering as many of these as I can, and at the moment uh, I haven't got thousands of comments or anything, so I'm able to do that. So if you've got questions, let me know, and if I don't know something, I'll research it or even use it as a topic. For a future video so certainly get back to me as well if you've got something about the keto diet that you want to find out about i will research it and talk about it uh, in a subsequent video and please also subscribe to my uh, youtube channel and please like my videos as well that helps me to uh, get more people to find these videos and ultimately we're able to help more people i'm hoping what i'm doing is helping other people who are looking to go on this diet or or actually are because what happened with the juice fast videos that i did 
was after I'd done a number, there was a number of people who started on my day one video and they followed right through to the end. And they were actually using these videos as a, as a means of motivation to keep themselves going. So I'd like to do the same for the keto diet. And basically the way YouTube works is the more people that can click on like on your videos, the more comments you get, the more engagement you get from people, the more subscribers, the better um, YouTube, uh, really YouTube allow that video to go even wider. Even even things like sharing videos on um, Facebook and Twitter and all those types of things. I don't want to harp on too much about it, but if you're able to do it, that's great. If not, please just follow along and let's uh, together get this weight down. All right, I'll be back with another video tomorrow. Cheers for now.